Oh, we're just going to try to wing this the best we can. And how it comes out is how it comes out. So I hope you stick through with it. Butch Davis fired Carolina after four seasons. Somewhat successful seasons. Certainly, the price Carolina's paying right now is not what they were planning on when they hired him in the midst of the 2006 season during the latter stages of the Tom Bunning era. Personally, I haven't missed a Carolina home game in close to 30 years. I don't know if that makes me committed or if I need to be committed, but it is what it is. And I've had to sit through good, bad, and very ugly football from time to time. So, in terms of where the hills go from here, where do you go from here? Especially in light of a newly expanded and renovated Kingdom Stadium. And people have to find a reason to come out and support the team. Now, I'm going to be there. And if I can get there, I'm going to be there. And I'll find a way to get there one way or the other. And how much I feel pretty sure of. I'm wearing this faded Dre Bly jersey that I've had since 1998. It's seen good, bad, and ugly days, too. And when Matt Brown was the coach of Carolina, it was a time of promise, but of course we never appreciated what we had with Matt Brown. Uh, Torbus, he might have wanted Carl to succeed, but he was closer to Carl from Sling Blade as opposed to Carl Snavely. He says, I'm a Carolina fan, and I can track off that reference. Some people are talking about how it compares to when Jim Tatum died, except this time the UNC football program died. I don't think it's quite that bad. It's an entity, not a person. It will survive. I, yeah, they will line up and play football on a Division One level in Chapel Hill. I, I don't think they're going to tear down the stadium and turn it into a law library. Compete after this. I mean, what does the NCAA do to Carolina now? Yeah, a lot of nasty stuff happened. Has the NCAA decided to make an example out of Carolina, or do uh, let's kind of quietly let it happen and maybe not nail them too badly to the wall, or is it somewhere in between? It doesn't matter at this point if you're a Carolina. Certainly the most real experience Carolina football has become. And we can't even do cheating right. And so when you cheat, you're supposed to do better than 8-5. And back-to-back -back losses in your backyard. And the one really, truly, insanely lucky with Tennessee. I'm sorry if Jenny Bond to your fan who sees this, but yeah. That was fun and you deserved it. And it's good we managed to get over on you guys for once. Well, I mean, who wants the job? Who wants to try and recruit there? What sort of kid will want to get there? I mean, yeah. Does it rub off on other programs? I really don't think so. I, mean, I don't know. Carolina football has always been a huge, I guess you could best say, uh, I want to put this mystery, especially in light of yeah, what else they have. something to wet my whistle, unfortunately. Cup of the wrong shade of blue. That's another all to get, another issue all together. Three-year-old son, there in the other room. 
started snoozing away. His mother pulls for the evil, uh, evil empire. But again, that's another issue altogether. But yeah, how do you explain it to your kids? Your team cheated, disgraced itself. See, yeah. I mean, we don't do this in DCC. We haven't. We got you know, Clemson got in trouble once upon a time. George Tech's in trouble because they decided to act like a bunch of a-holes to the NCAA, which is never a good thing. It's kind of like trying to tell the FCC or the IRS off. Usually just does not end well. Just, it's, it's upsetting to a point, but... It's football. Yeah, I love my 12 Saturdays a year. I love the game of college football. It's a great sport. I love it much more than the NFL. I love the pageantry, the effort of it, the love that you feel at a college football game. You don't feel love at pro sports events, man. Pro sports events, they're, they're sterilized now. And yeah, going to a Panthers game is like you know, stepping into the McDonald's. It's got about the same ambiance. It really does. But I digress. What do you do if you're Carolina? How do you go on? Well, you have to go on. I can't just cancel the season. Uh, they they will field a team this year. They will compete. They will probably compete pretty well. They'll probably be very, very spirited. And yeah, you naturally bring somebody from within to take the team mode for the year. That is what it is. Yeah, if the guy you have come in on an interim basis, if he has a huge year, then you talk about bringing him on full time. Of course, nobody's really concerned about huge years or bowl games or anything like that. It's about a university trying to remind people that it is about an education, which it is. And, and intercollegiate athletics is a sham on it to itself. We all know that. There's solutions for what needs to happen in college sports. Maybe it comes down to you know, just simple fact of you know, let a player make some money off of his name. But that's another topic for another day. But of course, you got to remember, for every team like Carolina or Ohio State, USC, and the others who get caught, they are their teams that never get caught. Our teams that know how to throw off the NCAA investigators or buy them off or you know, whatever it takes to keep the machinery moving. But it just comes down to the fact that Carolina got caught. Marvin Austin doesn't get plastered down in Miami Beach and start tweeting about the bottles popping. None of this ever happens. Hell, you don't have that. Butch Davis probably considered a genius. Probably considered to be the man who saved Carolina football. Hey, you get all those cats who ended up getting drafted in the NFL this past offseason. Actually, on the field last year, they would have had one heck of a good team. Man, man, wasn't too bad to begin with. I, hey, give Butch Davis credit. He did a great job. It's kind of like the scene in Casino when De Niro talks to the slot back. He's just had four slots hit. If you're not in on it, you're too dumb to know you're getting set up. Either way, you're out. That's basically the thing it is with Butch. Butch can say he didn't know, but how can you not know? And if you didn't know, then why are you here to begin with? Thanks for viewing. And all apologies for the crappy audio quality.